Pokea sifa he Mungu. Pokea utukufu wote. Asante kwa wema wako na fadhili zako. Asante kwa kibali chako na neema yako juu ya maisha yetu. Tunakupa sifa zote. Asante kwa kutupa nafasi tena kuweza kuwa katika nyumba yako. Asante kwa neno lako ambalo umeandaa kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. Nena nasi jitukuza katikati yetu na jina lako takatifu libarikiwe. Na ni kwa Kristo Yesu tumeomba na tumeamini. Amen. You can turn to your neighbor. Just greet your neighbor and welcome them. Worship us the Lord bless you. We can be seated to receive from the Lord. In Jesus mighty name please you can move to the to, to the seats in front. Just move. Amen. Just move. And the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the word of the Lord in the book of Numbers. Karika kitabu cha Hesabu chapter 21. I thank the Lord for his grace. I thank the Lord for his mercy. I thank the Lord for his goodness. Numbers 21 verses 4. Now I want to begin to talk about overcoming discouragement overcoming discouragement kushinda kuvunjika moyo overcoming discouragement The Bible says then they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom and the soul of the people became very discouraged on the way verse 5 and the people spoke against God and against Moses Why have you brought us up of us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness for there is no food no water Please check on that eye the, the reduce the volume I can already sense it I'm still talking in a very low tone and I can hear it already And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up, thank you, out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and our soul wrath this worthless bread. 6. So the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people and they beat the people and men of the people of Israel died. Father, we thank you because of your word. Your word is spirit. Your word is life. Your word is sharper than a double-edged sword. Your word is like a hammer that breaks the rocks. Your word is like a fire. We pray that this word will get a place in our hearts and it will transform us for your own glory. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you Father for the listeners online and even those who are seated in your house. Father as I speak this word minister to us all and let your name forever be glorified. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now today I want to speak about overcoming the spirit of discouragement. Let me begin by defining the discouragement. by saying discouragement is the loss of confidence or enthusiasm discouragement is the loss of confidence or enthusiasm 
a person is faced by discouragement, they tend to lose their courage. You discover this person does not have courage to do something anymore. They don't have the strong interest. Enthusiasm is strong interest. So, unapata mtu uyu, ana nguvu za kuweza kuendelea na jambo fulani. Unapata mtu uyu, ana uwezo wa kuweza kuendelea kufanya jambo fulani ambalo amekuwa anafanya. Discouragement inaweza kuingilia mtu wakati wa wote na sana sana nataka unot discouragement uwe na shambulia wale watu ambaye kuna kitu fulani wamekuwa wakifanya discouragement is not for the idlers discouragement does not attack people who don't have focus discouragement does not assignment they were busy doing something or they had just a accomplished something great they had just accomplished an, a, a great assignment and all of a sudden the spirit of discouragement comes upon them kwa hivyo discouragement huwa aishambuli mtu yeyote tu hapana inashambulia watu ambao wako na vision inashambulia watu ambao kuna assignment ya kimbingu wamekuwa wakifanya Discouragement ushambulia watu ambao wako na God given destiny. Wako na atima ya kiungu wamepewa na Mungu. Wako na destiny. They have a land to conquer. They have a land to occupy. Hao ndio watu ushambuliwa na discouragement. Discouragement wakati mwingi utapata inapata tu watu wa kawaida. No. Ukipata mtu ambaye anasema nasikia nimevunjika moyo utapata huyo mtu kuna kitu fulani alikuwa anafanya huyo mtu ako na tima kubwa ako na destiny kubwa mbele zake na kwa sababu shetani ataki atimize ile jambo ataki atimize lile jambo ambalo anataka ku Mungu amemwekea mbele ile kitu shetani huwa anatumia inaitwa discouragement and there are so many people who have lost their destinies because of discouragement there are people who died literally died in death and they got buried because they were discouraged because when you're discouraged when you're discouraged and you do not listen to the lord to get direction on how you can get encouragement encouraged to continue you can lose it you can be discouraged even with work People who get discouraged with work if they are not encouraged they will lose their job because the moment you feel discouraged then you will find you will feel there is no need of going the natural fact what i need to do is just to resign and then you end up losing a job because the initial thing that happened in your life was discouragement discouragement ilikuja kakugonga na kwa sababu haukujua jinsi ya kuweza kuando ile roho ya kuvunjika moyo then you lose it people lose their marriages because of discouragement somebody does your partner does something ambao hiyo kitu amefanya unasikia hiyo kitu haikubariki so ama 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 haiku haiku for encouragement then you continue the causes of discouragement we are going to see uh, what happens when people are discouraged and we are also going to see the temptations ile majaribu upata wale watu ambao wako discouraged maana ma, ma, majaribu ile inapata watu ambao wako discouraged sio kama yale anapata watu wengine wao wanakuwa na special very special very special temptation na hizo temptation a hiyo ndio njia ambayo shetani huwa anatumia sasa kuweza kumaliza wale watu na kuwatoa katika njia ya imani bwana yesu asifiwe now i want to make this statement that discouragement is the greatest weapon the devil uses to get people of god from pursuing what god
can also use people in authority. Have you ever read in the book of uh, Ephesians 6, 1? What does it say? Are we able to sing it? Ephesians, children obey your parents in the Lord, isn't it? Is it the one? I put one in here. You join. I'm not going to cut a tear. Keep up. Give me that verse very fast. Ephesians one. The Bible says, "Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right." Uh huh. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. Uh huh. That it may be well. This thing is is uh, flashing off in a in a wake kizimika. If it's not working, you tell me. I use my own Bible. This one. I'm talking about this one. Are you able to continue reading there? Are you using your Bible or you are also depending on the screen, which is for acuity? Ephesians 6 1. In Asemanini, children obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long on earth. And you fathers, I want you to read that yourselves. Can we read it together? One, two, three, we go. Ah, 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 ah. One, two, three, we go. Uh huh. And the mission of the law, number five. Uh uh, that one does not say what I want. Hmm. And you fathers do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the... Give me it in the New International Version. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get another version. There is a version that says, lest their hearts be discouraged. That is the version I want to read. There is a version that says, lest their hearts be discouraged. That means people who are in authority, like parents, can make the, the, the arts of the people they exercise authority over to be discouraged. People who are in authority, they can make statements which can discourage people. They can take action. Me as a pastor, for example, there are decisions I can make. If I'm not careful, they can discourage people. People who are in authority, the departmental leaders. Now, wale watu ambao unaweka katika mamulaka, usipo kuwa wangalifu, wanaeza hata kukufunja moyo. This is the point I'm bringing home. So, we need to be very careful of the sources of discouragement. Discouragement. Mm -hmm. Discouragement. We need to be uh, uh, careful of the spirit of discouragement. When you look at the, the people, many people today, they are very discouraged. You listen to people talk, they are very discouraged. Discouraged about the doctor's strike. Discouraged about the hard economical times. Discouraged about the high cost of living. Discouraged about, uh, about uh, the challenges people are going through. Discouraged about the high taxes. I went to, to, to do some shopping the other day. And as I was talking to the guy who was selling me what I wanted to buy, he told me, but you see, the problem we have is that even when we import these things, we are getting less money. than The, the taxes are more than even the amount of money we are, we are buying, we are selling even these things. We even wonder how we are going to be able to do business. So, when you listen to that kind of person, this person is discouraged because of the hard economical times. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. And even as I speak to us today, and as I continue speaking to us, you will discover you are discouraged. You will totally discover you are discouraged. Because unaangalia bill ile unastahili kulipa, unaangalia ushuru, unaangalia rendi ya nyumba, rendi ya mali pa biashara, and then you are like, what is it? What is the point? What is the point anyway? So, unapara kwamba people are discouraged. 
And that's why the Lord put this in my spirit very powerfully to come and to talk to us about overcoming discouragement. Because if we don't deal with this, uh, this uh, issue of discouragement, then we are going to lose it and then we are going to be destroyed. Uh, now, in the book of Numbers where we read, let's go back to Numbers where we read. Let's go back in Numbers where, where we read. The Bible says, Then they journeyed from Mount Or by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom, and the soul of people become discouraged on the way. Now, these are the children of Israel, and they are going towards the promised God as Na kutoka, kutoka kwao, misiri. Katika safari yao. Kile kitu awa watu wanaona ni miunjiza, ni nguvu za mungu. Now, let me make this statement. The fact that miracles are happening in your life does not mean you not be discouraged. You cannot be discouraged. I wish you wrote that. So sometimes I wonder what you usually write. <laughs> the fact that miracles are happening in your life does not mean you cannot be discouraged. Miunjiza inaweza kuwe natendeka maisha ni mwako na mbado uvunjike moe. Kwa hivyo, the fact that miunjiza inatendeka, si kumanisha kwamba uwezi funjika mioyo. No. These people had witnessed the miracles of God. They had witnessed God do great things in their life. They had seen signs, wonders. Amen? They had seen the Red Sea open for them and they passed through the Red Sea. They saw the Jordan River open for them and they entered into their place and they were marching towards the place of their destiny, the place of their reason. Amen. But still, the hearts of the people got discouraged because of the way that they were going. What, what made them to be discouraged? Verse 4. Verse 5. Verse 5 says, And the people spoke now. This is one sign now. I wanted to start talking about the signs of discouragement. One sign of discouragement. One sign of discouragement. When somebody is discouraged, they easily begin to speak against God and the authorities God has set in place. Awa watu walipo vunjika mioyo. Ile kitu walifanya, walianza kuongea kusumu. Now, listen to many Kenyans. And Kenya hear me. I was yesterday in a, in a celebration somewhere. And uh, to some point I got offended. Because when the people, uh, the political uh, class of people, because there, were, there was the MP of the area, the senator was there, and other, other, the MCS, and the other people were there. But when they began to speak, they began to speak against the leadership of the nation. Kwamba, Unajua, hii mashida tunapitia ni kwa sababu ya hii. Hata wale walikuwa walevi, wako afadhali, sijui nini, mungu ame, na nyinyi wachungaji, nyinyi ndi wamuliweka, uu uongozi. So, now, this is speaking against God and the authority he has put in place. The moment you find yourself speaking against God and against the spiritual leadership he has put in place, it is a sign you are discouraged. I know you cannot say amen. But, <laughs> allow me to speak to us because the Father spoke to me. We are speaking about the, the, the overcoming or overcoming this uh, discouragement. So, now, you find yourself unanza kusema mungu uko wapi. Kwa nini umeniwacha? Kwa nini ninapitia hii? Mungu situlikuamini kwa sababu ya hii taifa. Mungu situliomba kwa sababu ya uongozi wa hii taifa. Though that is speaking, making it a bit soft. But the reality is, you are speaking against God. People will raise and ask, look at the government. 
Now those guys were saying Unaona sasa huyu mtu alikuja akajifanya yeye ndiye mtu mzuri ndiye mtu wa kanisa kumbe atokujua kwamba ni umbo mwitu amefaa ngozi ya kondoo sasa ameanza kutukula mmoja mmoja na alafu anaongezea kuharibu kabisa anasema mtakulwa muishe mimi sikuli niishe <laughs> Sasa so now th- th- those are political gimmicks and they usually use them now to show you how that the, their opponent is bad so that next time you may not pick on the same person so discouragement makes people the first sign that you are discouraged is speaking against god and against spiritual authority have you written down have you written that point down and put it in your eye, in your mind and in your heart now these people began to speak against god and they were asking god why have you brought us out of egypt to die in the wilderness how many people in kenya today are asking why did you kwa nini ulitoa uliondoa uongozi wa the former president ukatupatia yule yako current watu wengi wanasema na nimewaambia kwa w- w- kristo ile kitu inakuwa tofauti we use softer words sasa softer words kama kusema hata heri wakati uhuru alikuwa rais hata heri wakati mwekibaki alikuwa now uhuru was our president for a season and a reason he accomplished his season and his reason and he cannot come back again mwekibaki may the lord uh, may his soul rest he accomplished his purpose and reason and he cannot come again amen amen So, wa Kristo sisi tutatumia softer softer words. Eh, hata heri wakati wa fulani. But the essence of the whole thing church is we are speaking against God and against spiritual authority. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, wakati moyo wako, wakati wa shirika kwa mfano, mioyo ya washirika ikivunjika, yule mtu wa analaumu ni pastor. Me I'm telling you the truth. Unaona hata vile pastor anafanya mambo Pasta hata saa zingine angeachana na mambo hii anafanya angeachana na mujengo angeachana na hii angeachana na hii siku moja tumekuwa tunafanya kazi hapa fulani na <laughs> ndugu moja sasa nikakuja ndiye alikuwa anatuwekea azina ya kanisa so ikawa tumemkopesha pesa mingi kwa sababu ya project siku moja akaniita akaniambia eh pasta hizi project tunafanya ni mingi sana tutawahi toa wapi hii pesa They raised a shout the walls of Jericho came down amen? amen that is the power of praise that we can as a people we can we can make so just release yourself and as we praise the lord let every walls of Jericho be brought down for you in Jesus name amen. hallelujah amen. just clap your hands let's go let's go let's go Dance, dance, dance for the Lord. 